There we go. No, now we're on the dam cam. Look at all those elephants. That is crazy. Zoomy, whoever's zooming today, you're doing a sterling job. Thank you for that. This is fantastic. Now I can understand why I'm hearing all sorts of trumpeting uh, coming from the distance. And as Jamie was uh, chatting to the schools about communications of the various animals, that trumpeting did not sound like a happy sound. It could have been, I think, a young teenager perhaps trying to sneak a suckle, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, was not doing very well at that and mom must have caught it and sort of said hey you back off you're too old but they're all come down even in this rainy gloomy weather they're not afraid of water as we saw this morning they love to swim having a drink slipping and sliding in the mud what a great day to be an elephant. This is ideal weather, it's their absolute favorite and we've all been talking about how much elephants love the water. So this is great. How many elephants do we have here? I'm gonna count them very quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I don't know, I cannot count them. You'll have to count them for me. But there must be about, oh, easy 30. I would say, and if not with those trumpets, maybe there are going to be a few more that come down and join the rest at the dam. But this is so fantastic. Now imagine if we were on bushwalk, of course the weather's a bit horrendous for bushwalk, but that would be the most magnificent sighting. And I had a sighting there the other day, quite similar to that, not with as many elephants though, and I can't even describe to you how great it was, because I really don't think words do it justice. And again, Again, a similar situation, the white-faced whistling ducks panicking now, all trying to swim away, keep out of the feet of the elephants. Oh, there they go, all taking off now, by our white-faced whistling ducks. Mom and Dad and their little family, off they go. The elephants are not too bothered by it. You might see a bit of a reaction coming from some of those young elephants. They will. They enjoy playing around and well if birds fly off all at once they would absolutely love that too. I just want to go in there and join them. I want to float around on my lilo. Now Trevor you're wondering if elephants sweat? Uh, most of the animals can indeed sweat um, for any darting uh, that I've ever done. The most important thing was to try and keep them cool. Now elephants have got relatively thick skin. I'm just trying to think if I've ever seen sweat behind an elephant's ear before. I've definitely seen sweat behind a rhinoceros's ear. I've been fortunate enough to be a part of collaring a lot of uh, rhinos, putting an ankle collars uh, on these rhinos just to try and monitor their whereabouts on smaller private game reserves and, uh, and the one thing we had to do was constantly cool these animals down so I don't think they sweat as well as we as humans do uh, they don't pant for example like we see the cats the big cats panting and the dogs panting to try and cool themselves down and that's why they need to cover themselves in mud a to cool, keep themselves nice and cool and then of course b to sort out the parasites and help uh, smother them it also acts as a nice sunscreen so it is really good so they don't sweat like we sweat um, so they have to use external sources to try and keep them cool but isn't this just fantastic just a quick drink of the water Nobody's mucking around today by the looks of it. If I was them, I'd be the naughtiest elephant in there. I'd be running around, I'd be splashing about, I'd be spraying water at other elephants and then running away. But that's the kind of elephant I think that I would be. <laughs> Lucy, and you've said that this is exactly like an elephant pool party. Well, it's definitely a party that I'd like to be a part of, and I'm not sure about all of you. Actually, I think every single person sitting watching Safari Live this afternoon is probably having the same feelings as me, wanting to float around in their lilo. And how could you not? How could you not want to be right there in the middle amongst the action of all these elephants? It is just fantastic, and it's a beautiful day yes we've got a bit of rain however that doesn't mind uh, bother the animals too much as long as the wind stays away which it is it is perfect isn't this absolutely fantastic oh wow now lady starfire you were wondering if there was a hippo in this dam as well I I haven't actually seen a hippo in here for quite some time. We used to have a hippo by the name of Henry, and he loved it here. I think he was he was Ronald's best friend, um, but maybe that's why we haven't seen Henry, is because Ronald hasn't quite been around. Ronald's been on vacation, a long vacation. He only comes out really in the winter months when there's not a lot of tall grass around, so he can get, get around a bit better. 
maybe Henry will make a return then. But for now, no, they wouldn't. And if there was a hippo in this dam, I don't think it would have been very happy uh, just because of all the elephants that surrounded it. Remember, it's not very deep in here. It's, um, it's a little bit wider after the rain that we've had uh, this morning. But other than that, there are other deeper pools that, this hip that a hippopotamus could really go to. No, those ducks are busy feeding again. They've obviously settled down, so good for them. And as we sort of look at the water, you see there's a lot of movement going on on the surface of the water. And Leo, you're wondering if there are any fish in there. It, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if there were. It could be something like a catfish, tilapia, most likely catfish, if anything. They're really good at uh, surviving also when the water starts to uh, disappear. And you've seen it with Brenton, I'm sure a number of different presenters, where catfish can actually come out of the water in the sh very, very shallows, almost exposing their entire body and move. So if there's a close a, a puddle that's closer, that's got a bit more water in, they will crawl all the way, will sort of flap about. It's the most bizarre thing that they do. They sort of flap their bodies around, and by doing that, they actually move and, and are essentially walking, not walking the way that you and I walk or an elephant walks, but the way a fish walks. Look at that bull saying, get lost to another younger bull. <laughs> it's all sorts of chaos going on. There's a couple of Inyala popping out through the bushes. I'm sure they've been flushed out by all the elephants as they've moved away or starting to move away from the dam to continue feeding. This is fantastic. There's even an Inyala bull on the left-hand corner of the screen that looks like he's about to start displaying. I can see his tail's all curled up. I can sort of see the white ridge of hair. Now, I don't know who you're displaying to. Perhaps that elephant at the back? I don't think she's going to be very interested in you, I'm afraid, Nyala. But anyways, he's doing a great job, isn't he? And that elephant is watching closely. Very curious by the actions that are going on there today. Now, if this is your first time watching Safari Live and you're unsure as to what that Nyala is doing, he is doing a dominance display. So basically, and Yala are really incredible antelope. They're not as aggressive such as a, a waterbuck or a bushbuck or even a chemspok. They are known for, for aggressive fighting. Often when two males do have a box, one will end in a fatality. But that's unlikely with the Inyala. They will size each other up. You'll find two or three of them, sometimes even more, walking in a slow circle around each other. Uh, hair erected, as it is now. And normally just from this display, they will decide whether uh, they're equal size or one is bigger and, and then they will start a match and then they do start pushing and shoving each other around. But it's not a very common thing to see, to see a proper Inyala bull fight. You've got more chance of seeing waterbuck or impala pushing each other around. But how cool is this? We're going from one massive herd of elephants. I think there's actually uh, probably not just one herd of elephants a couple of families that have all met here today including a few bulls i know jamie's also been sitting with an elephant herd they're one of her favorite animals let's go and see what they're doing they're being utterly hilarious is what they're doing absolutely magic they are having so much fun have you ever seen an elephant do yoga or try to do a headstand well, now you can. And when you are a little elephant, pressing home your advantage against an older cousin or an older sibling is absolutely the way to go, especially if they are lying down. And you've got to make sure that you climb on top of them when the opportunity presents itself. <laughs> Who says elephants aren't limber? Look at the speed with which these elephants get up and get down again. This little one, the smallest one, came running in to join in the fun. Look at you lot. Are you having such a ball? <laughs> this is so special. This is why elephants are one of my favorite animals to spend time with. These special moments where you can see just how much personality they truly have. What are you doing, you silly thing? Does that sand feel really nice in your face? Hmm? Is that just the best? You're eating sand. Is that yummy? Oh, just look, watch this, watch this, watch this. That was precipitated by a rumble from one of the females. And immediately the game stops. Well, you know, sort of. 
quick head shake to get rid of the sand. See the stiff tails? Okay, one of them, there's always one. There's one in every herd that isn't quite so keen on the whole obedience thing. The reason that the females are so upset and the reason that there's rumbles and upset females and now upset babies is because there is a massive elephant in must and he is causing chaos. Isn't he, little one? Hey, eh? One day you're going to be big and strong. Yes, chase that bird. You chase that bird. You show that bird who's boss. Very impressive. Very scary. And as for you on the right, well, I don't even know what you're doing. Yes, that's your trunk. You're going to have to learn to live with it. Even when it's got sand in it. Oh, poof. Yes, and the mud, the mud is still muddy and still sandy. All the sensations happening here. Well, an interesting question, John. You want to know if elephants are the smartest animal in the African bush? Not that one. Not so much, yeah? No, I'm joking. It's hard to tell. Um, it's difficult to test the intelligence. I don't think we fully comprehend the way that an animal thinks. They're certainly one of the most intelligent animals out here. There is a great deal to be said from what we know and understand of their social communication. I can tell you that scientifically they have nerve pathways in their brains that only dolphins, whales, humans and great apes have. Um, pathways, nerve pathways that are devoted to emotional development among many other things. So there, there is that to it. I think spotted hyenas are also very clever, very, very clever, from behavioral tests that have been done. Are they the smartest animal? Well, I guess it depends your definition of smart. I think so, though. I think they are definitely one of the most intelligent creatures out here. Maybe I'm biased because I love them so much. <laughs> Even when they're full of nonsense, like these two boys. Oh, behind the ear. Ouch. Hey, you bully. There's going to be tears. Shelby, you want to know how old these two baby elephants are? I think the one is about three and the other's about two or so. Around about there, give or take. And the littlest one obviously being the, the younger one, in case that needed clarifying. There's the big bull, the must bull, and he really is in must. So he's the one that's been causing all of the upset. A little bit earlier, I actually had quite a close, not call, but a, a moment where a situation was rapidly developing with one of the pregnant females where she just took, she'd been fine with us the whole time and then she just took exception to us. I think it's the, the roof, personally. I think she knew that we were here, but she couldn't see us properly. She couldn't quite work out what was going on. And she gave us a few warning head shakes and it was fascinating how the matriarch, or the, the elephant that I believe is the matriarch of this herd, picked up on her emotions and her feelings even before she started coming towards us and she rushed to join her. I love that. I love that they've got that protective... Oh, Craig, look at these two now. I'm sorry to go on to a different tact, but I mean really. Different tact, not tact. What are you two doing? Hmm? Are you getting bullied a little bit there, little one? Hey? Yeah, you lost your advantage. It serves you right, because you kept climbing all over the older one when it was lying down. When he was lying down. Oh, running back to mum now. I'm done. I've had enough. I've had enough. Stop bullying me. <laughs> You've got to love elephants. They're endlessly entertaining. Right. I heard some rumbles to the side of me. I just want to check that I don't have an elephant that side. I don't think I do before I start up the vehicle. Here's the big bull. Our Kim, we've seen a couple of nice, really nice big elephant herds. You want to know if they travel in big herds as the weather gets cooler. Yes, to an extent, but 
not because it's it, it coincides with the cooler weather it's not to do with temperature as we go into winter it gets drier and that means that resources are created and we see more elephants because they're coming together resources. it's actually got nothing really to do with the temperature but it does have a lot to do with the same time of year time of year okay so probably be our last view of our Ellie's, they're all now moving onto Buffel's Hook, which is a property that is north of where we can go. But it has been a special time spent with them. The rain has stopped. It was almost a moment where I thought the sun was coming out. And we've had a special, special time. There's a young bull who is playing it safe. He is watching the must bull out of the corner of his eye and making sure that he isn't going to be seen as challenging him. From an, I was gonna try and, it was a really tenuous link, I'm sorry. I was gonna try and give you such an awesome link about an, an animal having tent-like ears and Taylor in the tent, but it just didn't come out right at all. So to make up for it, I'm just going to send you over to Taylor. Still in the tent and I've been watching the dam cam very very closely because it seems as though we're having our own world elephant day today Should we take another look at the dam cam? I think so I'm going to sit down in my chair and get comfortable now there we go. Ah, and straight away, I heard that trumpeting, not just from the dam cam, but I heard it, of course, from the little old tent. We're not too far from Voyatella Dam, I must tell you. We must be about, as the crow flies, about 800 meters or so, maybe even a little bit less than that. And a big elephant trumpet can definitely travel, there is, even if you're a little bit hard of hearing, you could hear that. But look at this. It's like a swarm of elephants coming in. There's just just more and more and more of them and this is why I'm so excited about winter not just because of the cooler weather but because of the sightings that we're going to see this is just a sneak peek oh my goodness how many elephants are here okay I have to jump very quickly I we need some guesses how many elephants do you think we are looking at hashtag safari live with your guesses because this is pretty pretty spectacular this is the most elephants I've ever seen in one group since I've been here at wild earth i was very fortunate to experience sightings like this on a regular basis down in the south of the sabi sands we'd get lots of different family groups as we have here like i said very briefly earlier this is not just one herd this could be four or five six or seven different family groups just coming down to a, a common sort of source of water and well a dam is a perfect spot for that and all of the elephants will interact the little ones will play with each other it's not always happy. You might find a couple of young bulls uh, trying to get, a, or getting a bit too boisterous, they'll get moved on by the big cows, and there might even be a few discrepancies between the matriarchs, the various matriarchs that are here. This is a very powerful scene that we have at the moment, and there's some very powerful women here too. And, uh, well, one of them, that elephant that's playing in the water on the right, that's me. If I was an elephant, that would be me with my head and my bottom or my head down in the water, my bottom up in the air. How cool is that? Now, Toby and Cos Cosmic, you've said that you think there must be about 60 elephants. That sounds about right. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if, if a couple more herds move in if we eventually get to about 100. That would, my, my record is between 100 and 150 elephants um, that I've seen down in the Sabi Sand. Up in Zambia, I was very fortunate to see herds of over 200 crossing masses, open plains. So this is really, really cool. And hopefully in Kenya, they'll be able to see big groups of animals like that. I'm not, I'm, I've never been to Kenya before, so I'm not so so sure. But there we go, you can see there's a couple of discrepancies happening. Some of the younger bulls uh, getting too close to the cows, the cows retaliating. There might be a couple of disagreements, like I said, between the cows too. If the little ones sort of uh, play around and um, get a bit too rough, mom will intervene and she'll come through and chase them out. But you can see there's the, some, the elephants that are on the right, they're not quite interested in interacting with everybody. They're very, very happy, of course, uh, uh, to just push, them, push and shove each other around in the corner. They don't need all of that attention. 
This is the best day in the whole world, being surrounded by so many different elephants. And we're going to move on from these elephants now. I'm sure they'll still be splashing around at the dam. James has not got any elephants. He's got another very common animal. There are some impala, everybody. 